In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create logo and text reveals from behind a mask using Adobe After Effects. The approach is different for graphic elements such as logos than it is for text. So I've divided the tutorial into two parts. The first chapter is for animating logos and the second for text. And of course, you can use both techniques on the one timeline to result in the type of animation that you're seeing on screen right now. So let's open up Adobe After Effects and begin by creating a new composition. To do that, click on the composition menu item at the top of the screen and then click on new composition or use the keyboard shortcut command and N. Give your composition a name and we're gonna change the preset to custom and we're gonna give it a width of 1080 and a height of 1920. And that's because we're going for a vertical format portrait style video because we're going to be publishing this to a social media platform such as Instagram, Instagram Reels in fact, which uses the vertical video format. And the rest we can leave as is square pixels and 25 frames per second. If there's any reason that you wanna to go to 30 frames per second, perhaps for a little bit of a smoother frame rate, there's no reason why you can't change that here at 30 frames. And you can also select a specific background color if you like. And you can also determine how long you would like your clip to be. So I'm gonna change this to 15 seconds. and click on OK. So we now have a new composition window and as you can see, it is completely black. It's a blank slate, ready for us to get started. So to do that, I'm gonna click on the project tab in the top left-hand corner and drag all of the media assets that I would like to use in my project. Just simply grab them from your desktop or the folder location and drag them into this window. Or you could go to file, import and import multiple files to import your media. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is lay down the background. So let's have a look at that. I've got a couple of background options here. I quite like this one. So I'm going to drag this background layer onto the screen, or if you like, you can drag it directly onto the timeline. Line it up to the left so it's at the very beginning of your project. Click on the drop down arrow on the bottom left hand corner. Click on the transform drop down arrow. And the first thing I'll do is rotate it by 90 degrees. And we now have our background ready to go. Now I'm gonna drag the Acer logo, the Predator logo onto my project. So where is that logo? Here we go. And again, I can just drag it directly onto the canvas into the position that I'd like to appear, or I could drag it onto the timeline and reposition it at any time. But let's just drag it onto the canvas and drop it into place. And it's a little bit too big, so I'm gonna click on the drop down arrow, click on the transform drop down and scale it down ever so slightly. That's perfect. And now I'm going to create a layer mask so that we can animate this from behind the mask. So to do that, we're going to click on the layer menu at the top, click on new, and then we're going to create a shape layer. And because you've selected a shape layer, by default, the rectangular tool is already selected and ready to go. So you can just drag a rectangle around your logo. Now, if you wanted to create a different shape, you can use the drop down item to create an all sorts of shapes as masks for this type of application. But for what we're doing here, we just want a rectangular mask. So we now have our mask in place. You can change the color if it's not contrasty enough against your background. It doesn't have any impact upon the animation itself. It's just for your visual reference purposes. So just for today, I'm gonna to change this to green. And now I'm gonna go and rename the layer to mask by clicking on the control key and clicking on rename 
and I'll call this logo mask. Next, click on the toggle switches mode that may or may not have been open depending on where you were at in your last project. So if you see that it looks something like this, you need to click on it. It will expand out and reveal two new columns, mode and track mat. So we are now going to click on our logo layer. And then in the second drop down, we are going to select a mask that we would like to use for this logo element. As you may recall, we renamed our mask layer to logo mask so that we could easily identify it in this step. In the drop down field, there are a number of different types of masks. We just want a regular alpha mat. So I'm gonna click on that. And when you do that, the mask itself will disappear, but it's actually still there. If you click on the eye icon, you can see that it's still there. And the next thing we're going to do is click on the drop down for our logo. And we're going to go to the position. We're going to create a keyframe now for the first position of our logo. So click on this icon here that looks like a stopwatch. And then I'm going to drag the slider down. The second one along which represents the vertical movement. The first one is for horizontal movement. So I'm gonna bring that logo behind the mask as my first position in the keyframe. Then I'm gonna grab the handle on the timeline and I'm gonna to go to one and a half frames and I'm gonna click on this little keyframe icon that's now being created on the position element. And now I'm going to position that logo back to where we started. So if I grab the timeline handle, move backwards, you can see our start point on keyframe one, move along to the right and it shows the end point. And all of this is happening behind the mask that we created in the previous step. So that's how you create a mask effect over any graphic element. In this case, it's a logo. Now I'm gonna show you a different technique for doing the same thing with text. So to add text to the project, we can do that in a number of ways. We can go to the layer menu, new and select text, or we could use the text tool in this top menu on the left hand side. So I'll use that for this example. I'll put the wording in as 27 inch monitor. I'll grab the select tool so that I can position it where I'd like it to be. Let's put it down here for now. And the next thing I'm going to do is to add a mask layer to the text. To do that, click on the text layer itself in the left hand window and then click on mask, new mask, or you can use shift option and N as a shortcut. When you add your mask, you'll see a rectangular outline appears around your text. Click on the drop down arrow of your text layer. And now we're gonna click on animate. We're going to select animate by position in the drop down field that appears. And we are going to click on our animator. And we have a horizontal and vertical slider here. So we're going to have this animate from the top. I'm going to slide the vertical position of the text up so that it is hidden from the mask. And I'm going to click on the stopwatch to create my first keyframe. Then I'm going to drag the horizontal bar along the timeline by one second from four seconds to five seconds. Click on the keyframe again. And now I'm going to drop that text in to position. And if I put my cursor just at the beginning there, tap on the space bar to play. 
you can see we've now animated text from behind the mask. And if it's a little bit too slow or too fast, you can just adjust that keyframe by sliding it along the timeline. So I'm gonna make that a little bit quicker at about half a second and play that again. And there we go. And if you're wondering how I created the line animation, well, it's actually a very similar technique using masks. To do that, I'm going to go to layer, layer, new and shape layer. Then I'm going to draw a line just under the typography. It's currently in red, so I'm gonna change the fill to white. And there is our shape layer. I'm gonna hit control, rename, and call it white line. Then I'm gonna create a second mask by going layer, new, shape layer. And I'm going to change the fill to red so that I can see it clearly. And I'm gonna draw around that line to completely cover it. And I'm going to change the name of that to line mask rename and again just make sure if you don't see the optional target layers on the right hand side click on the toggle switches modes option below but it should be there from before anyway so you shouldn't have to worry about that right now click on the white line layer and then under the track mat column we're going to add the alpha mat line mask. Our line should appear. And now I'm going to click on the drop down arrow of my white line, click on transform, go to position, and this time we're going to move it horizontally. And as you can see, once we get past this initial point, it's hiding behind the mask. I'm going to click on the stopwatch icon to get a keyframe. Then I'll move my timeline marker on the main timeline along by one second, click on the keyframe, and then I'll drag it into place. Click back on the timeline just before the first keyframe, tap on the space bar. So that's how you create logo and text reveals from behind a mask using Adobe After Effects. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, by all means, feel free to hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. See you on the next one. Bye for now.